A review of inappropriate sexual behaviour by Oranga, Tim Oranga Tamariki staff has found urgent change is needed at youth residences. Since former Police Commissioner Mike Bush began a rapid review in June, 46 complaints have been laid and 28 of those have been referred to police. 22 staff members have already been stood down and three of those have been charged. As Leighton Hagel reports, the ministry responsible for supporting our children expects more staff to be charged. It's supposed to be a safe place for our country's most vulnerable children, but for some of them, Oranga Tamariki has been the complete opposite. From allegations of abuse... Inappropriate comments which lead to her inappropriately touching me. ..to MMA-style fights within facilities organised by staff. <laughs> The behaviours we've seen coming out of a small group of staff and our residents is unacceptable. In June, Oranga Tamariki launched a rapid review into its youth residences following allegations of serious misconduct. Since then, 46 further complaints have been laid. 22 staff uh, that have been stood down from work that are still part of active investigation. Uh, there are 28 uh, allegations that are currently being worked through uh, with the police and you may be aware that there are three uh, cases that have been brought by police through to the court. I expect that more will come through. I'm absolutely disgusted that this is still happening. Tupua Ehrlich spent years in the system and was physically abused by someone who was supposed to care for him. He now advocates for children in care. They're being exposed to sexual behaviour and abuse by staff Physical abuse, you know, like, come on. These are supposed to be healing environments, as Oranga Tamariki like to say. That doesn't sound too healing to me. Look, we recognise that we need to change. And the review says that change is urgent. It details an agency struggling to respond and adapt to things like legislative changes and trends towards more serious youth crime. It also shows that facilities aren't always adequately staffed and some of the staff they do have lack experience. Probably the most challenging and complex organisation. So the people need to be their very, very best. And the review also warns violence could increase if care within facilities isn't improved. The report details a plan to improve the agency, which OT says has already begun, but there are concerns it'll just be another Band-Aid fix. How can we expect the Fano community to trust that young people should be in these places? Faith and trust comes uh, through action. Action, that's urgent. Leighton Haeckel, News Hub.